Dual language programs at the very beginning take a lot of research and work. There are research uh, models out there already that provide administrators and school districts with information on how to begin these types of programs. And uh, going to multiple resources and sources of how these happen, visiting existing dual language programs and models that, that have um, already begun their work. Some of them are into their 20, 21st year of, of work in, in working with dual language programs. So learning who those people are, learning about the resources, visiting them, finding out in the research, in the internet, on what the great uh, components are and how you begin with fully trained teachers and models of, of the program, resources, curriculum, and so forth at the very beginning in a planning year is, is very crucial. And then to find out how to recruit those teachers to support them to provide professional development in that second year, maybe in that third year, really implementing the program once you've advised your school community and they have a buy-in as well. Because one of the things is that people come down and say, well, we're going to do this right now and, and we want to start it right now. And, and, and that's one of the, the, the fallacies that it can be started right away. Because you have to have a very well-trained uh, teaching group to be able to implement these things, especially in the formative years, because if you're going to teach a language, those teachers have to be really strong. They have to know that language. They have to be really ready, prepared with materials and resources and language and how to write it and how to read it to children. And if you don't have that in place, you you uh, already begin with, with a, a difficult step ahead of you. So just developing your, your resource base, your community, your professional development, and your plan is really important in, in those first couple of planning years.